Monday. So it's going to be a busy week this week. This is my last week before I leave for California for a couple of weeks. How many times can I say a week? I don't know. But I want to try and get to some of my arcs that I have. I really need to film videos, also edit videos. I'm hoping that today will be an editing day. As far as my reading goes right now, I'm currently only a chapter into A Dress for the Wicked by Autumn Krauss, and then I am listening to the audiobook for The Forbidden Orchid by Sharon Biggs Waller. But I received a package in the mail to unbox, so I wanted to do that for you guys. So this is from outofprint.com. They were kind enough to ask me if I wanted anything from the website, and I am so excited to show you guys what I got. I will have the link to them down below. I've actually bought stuff from there before, and I thoroughly enjoy it. So I'm excited to have some new things. These bubbles are so big that popping that literally left my ear ringing. So first thing I got is a mug because I love mugs and I collect them and this is an Alice in Wonderland mug so obviously I had to have it. The only Alice mugs that I have except for one which is like a heat changing mug but the other ones that I have are all Disney Alice so I'm really excited to have a Tenniel Alice mug so it also says in it it's always tea time. I drink coffee but I still appreciate the sentiment. It is adorable. Next is a t-shirt and this is part of their new Lee Bardugo Six of Crows collection. So this obviously has the Six of Crows cover on it and I love it so much. These t-shirts are so soft and they're also not too form-fitting which I really like for a t-shirt. And then the last thing that I got from them is actually a hoodie and this is delightfully soft. Oh my goodness. I've never had one of their hoodies before but this is like so soft on the inside. But it is just this hoodie and it says on it books turn muggles into wizards and it supports the Harry Potter Alliance too, which is amazing. And I just love this a lot. I actually think I'm going to put it on now. Look at how cute it is. And I'm so comfy. But thank you very much to Out of Print for sending me all of these things. I'm so excited to wear this and to use my mug and to wear my t-shirt. It's gonna be great and very bookish. So I got home really late last night because we went to go and see Hamilton last night. And then I worked this morning. So I'm really tired and I kind of was hoping to take a nap, but I don't think that's gonna happen. As much as I'm tired, I'm also like, I have so much to do, oh my god. So I think my game plan is to finish out last week's vlog and then I'm going to kind of clean up a little bit and then I will go into edits for Wednesday's video because it's once again a collab, so it's gonna take me a long time to edit. So the mailman just came. Oh my god, <laughs> just a casual Tuesday morning package delivery, right Ella? Good morning, it's Tuesday, waiting for my hair to dry as per usual because I'm going to be doing some filming today, but I was just editing a video for tomorrow and it was originally going to be a collab, but then we pushed it back again, so luckily I have some other stuff filmed that I can post, but the mailman came and oh my god, it's like it's Christmas or something. This is ridiculous. Normally when I get this many packages, it comes from different delivery people, but this time it came from all the same mailman and he's probably like, what do you do? But just buy a ton of books is the answer. So I kind of need to go through what I have here. I think there's a couple of things that I'm going to unbox in the vlog, but then there's also stuff that I'm going to do an unboxing book haul for. So I don't know when that will be up, but stay tuned for that. But I definitely need to sort through this. Okay, so I only opened the one package to see what was in it. The other ones, I'm pretty sure it's all books. If not, most of it is books, but the one that I did open wasn't even for me. It was a gift, so this is the package that I can open here. So this is actually for a really fun Instagram post that I'm going to be doing partnering with Disney Books, but they sent me Mirror Mirror, A Twisted Tale by Jen Calomita, and this is part of their Twisted Tale series. I have the Little Mermaid one, and I haven't read it yet, but I'm really excited to do so, but they have so many of them and they're just retellings that mostly I feel like go behind the villain of the story, not always, but this one is inspired by Snow White and it says, what if the evil queen poisoned the prince? Scandal. They also sent me it with a yellow skirt that I'm gonna wear to make myself kind of look like Snow White and I'm very excited for it. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, but I'm gonna go and get this video edited so then I can just film and get everything 
everything done today because there's a lot of stuff I want to get done. Shocker, I know, I'm always like this. But I'm happy that these packages came because I'm gonna do an unboxing book haul, which I'm really excited about. I love filming book hauls. They're some of my favorite videos to do and an unboxing one, I haven't done one of those in so long. Haven't even seen one in so long, so I'm just, I feel like it's gonna be a lot of fun. As far as my reading goes, I didn't end up reading anything yesterday. I don't know, I was just lazy and didn't do anything. So hopefully today I'll be able to make up for it, but I've got a busy schedule, so maybe if I get a head start, I'll be able to do that. I totally missed things in that package, so there is also this Snow White 1937 collection classic color lipstick, which is so cool. I love the packaging, it's adorable. Look at this, it's so pretty. And let's see, Beauty Guru Day is coming back to me. Oh, this is just so pretty. There's also a little hair bow and then a poison apple necklace. So I'm really excited to put together this whole look. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So now I've actually shown you everything and now I need to go and edit that video. So I'm all set up and ready to film with this madness happening right here. Oh my God. But I'm gonna start out with filming the book haul because it is the one that I'm most excited about. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I only got my one video done, I got the unboxing done, but when I opened up the big box that I had, none of it was books, so I'm going to unbox it here for you guys. So the first thing that I got is actually an eye mask. When I work, I work at five in the morning, so I'm up at like 4.20, depending on the day, but when I get home, I always have a struggle time sleeping because my curtains don't really like block out that much light. So if I want a nap, it's a struggle, but I had to get this because it's so cute. I don't know why I put it on top of my head, but it says catnap on it and it has little cat ears And I was like that would be great to like block out the light when I need to sleep Also, I feel like for planes it would be good like who doesn't want this? I can't even tell if I'm facing the camera right now. Where is it? There it is So next I really like board games I don't get to play them that often because I don't have friends to play them with I do my friends just don't live where I do so I got a couple of expansion packs for board games that I already have I got cards against humanity the green box Box, and then what do you meme fresh pack of memes number two if you guys haven't played what do you meme? It's really fun It's kind of like cards against humanity except with memes We played it when I was in Florida visiting Hannah and Zoe and it was tons of fun next I got a little makeup case here So I picked this up because I have one that's like it, but it's a lot bigger So it's a lot like I guess thicker is the word that I'm looking for So I felt like this one would be really helpful for traveling because the other one is great But it takes up a lot of space. So this one is awesome because it still has the individual bags inside of it but it's not quite as big so I'll easily be able to fit a lot of stuff and then be able to fit this in my luggage without it taking up so much room. So this last thing that I have here I feel ridiculous but I live at home right and I don't have like really that many friends around here so I don't really entertain or anything especially because I'm an introvert so I don't like entertaining but I got myself a platter. <laughs> Like what am I gonna do with this? I don't know. It's just so pretty My logic was at some point I will move out at some point I will have friends and I will have this and it will be beautiful in my future Maybe I'll be able to afford it probably not because I keep on buying stuff that I don't need for it house It matches my room look at how pretty like you could just put that in the wall and it would be like damn That's a nice platter. I don't know. I'm justifying but I need to go and film some more So I'm gonna go and do that good morning. Happy Wednesday Day. I obviously just woke up, but yesterday I got three videos filmed, so I only have three left to film. I definitely could have filmed more, but the last one I decided to do was the try a chapter tag, which took so long because I had to read a chapter of each book, and I decided to do eight books, so that is quite unfortunate, but I still only have three more videos that I have left to film, so I'm excited about that, but I'm not going to do any filming today. My plan today is to edit. I actually have to edit and upload a video for today, so that's definitely number one priority. And then I'm going to spend the rest of the day editing the other videos that I have to do, so then I'll kind of be like one day of filming, one day of editing, one day of filming, one day of editing. So tomorrow I plan on filming, and then on Friday I will edit, and I should be done my filming tomorrow, fingers crossed, hopefully. But if I am, then the rest of my free time will be spent editing. But as far as reading goes, I decided that I wanted to go for something fun and quick and 
it wasn't what I initially wanted to go for because I don't want to like eat up all of my fun quick contemporaries that I just bought all in one go but I think that I do want to try and build and keep a momentum going before I go to a fantasy again I'm just gonna put all my fantasies on the back burner right now basically but I'm going to go for Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren so I'm going to start that right now while I'm having my coffee I'm gonna set a timer and read for a little bit before I start my editing So I still have my umbrella light set up behind me just because I'm not putting it away since I'm planning on doing more filming, but it's 11 a.m. and I had been planning on reading until 10, but I'm just getting started with my editing even though I really want to continue reading this. I am 115 pages in, so it's obviously a very quick read and I've made great progress with it, but like I want to get to like the steamy bits and everything. I love everything that's happened so far. It is adorable. Love the characters so, so much. I find Hazel to be a really relatable character for me. I feel like she's kind of what I would be like if I weren't so anxious. She's a little bit more eccentric than me, but I still find her to be extremely relatable. So I really just want to keep on reading this and I would probably finish it in one sitting if I had nothing else to do. But unfortunately I have other things to do. So I'm gonna get this video edited and then hopefully I'll be able to get more videos edited and I won't just give in and pick this up because I really do need to get some editing done. But I just want to read this so badly. So I'm done with my edits on today's video. I have it uploading and then I'll just have to do the description and everything. So I think while I'm waiting for it to upload, I'm going to use that as an excuse to read this. I know that I could totally start editing a new video or even doing the thumbnails or something like that, but I just want to read this. So I'm going to do that for the duration of this uploading. It'll probably be like half an hour. It kind of depends on my Wi-Fi and everything, but I will take it. So obviously it's later. I ended up getting one more video edited. I don't even remember when I updated you last, but I haven't been able to read anymore. I'm 133 pages into this, so I'm going to read before bed and hopefully I will be able to put it down and actually get some sleep because I'm planning on filming tomorrow. So it'd be great if I could do that, but it's a very addicting read. So I can totally see me like pulling an all-nighter to finish it, but I'm not gonna do that because I need sleep. Good morning it is almost 11 a.m actually yikes i'm running a little bit behind but it's fine today is a filming day so i have three videos that i want to film i think i actually have like four or something like that planned i still need to plan the one because i ended up finishing a book last night so i'm going to do another recent reads update so i finished josh and hazel's guide to not dating i'm not going to go too into depth into my thoughts here because you guys should have already seen my recent reads video because I'm planning on putting it up on Friday aka tomorrow so I really need to film it but this was so 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 cute I really enjoyed it my only issue was at the end I felt like there was unnecessary drama added into it and there was no foreshadowing for it either so it just kind of came out of absolutely nowhere and I was like what is happening but it was sexy and cute and that's kind of what I like from my romances I don't like it to be just like straight up sexy I like there to be a little bit of a cute aspect to it so loved the chemistry between the two characters it was so great and I just loved all the characters in general this was a great adult romance to start with so now I'm moving on from that to 99% mine by Sally Thorne because I'm kind of trying to make my way from the lowest rated or the ones that I haven't heard about that much to the highest rated ones so after this one I'll probably read the hating game and then the kiss quotient will be the last one that I read I don't know if I'll read all of them consecutively because then that will be all of the adult romances that I had on my TBR done in one go but I kind of want to keep this momentum going as I keep saying because I'm so annoying but that's why I'm trying out this one I might after this one move on to some YA contemporary I don't really know I'm just going with the flow and seeing how I feel but there was a package in my mailbox I don't know what this is so let's find out I don't know how to do this with just one hand it's kind of difficult I feel like it's easier if I do it this way what are you you're blue Oh, why is it so big? 
I guess it's not that big. It just kind of looks big, but it is The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. This is the next book by the author of Geekerella, and I'm very excited to have it. Oh, look at the pretty end papers. Fun! So I need to finish planning out these videos. I've got two more to like actually plan out, and then I'm gonna get to filming. So I was going to film four more videos because I had four planned, but I did the three, and I was happy with just the three. So now I'm done all my pre-filming. I just need to do so much editing, like ages and ages of editing. But right now I'm cleaning up and I'm planning on organizing some stuff because this is my t-shirt drawer and like I can't even open it anymore because it's so full. So I'm gonna organize it. I think I'm gonna try like the Marie Kondo folding thing and that might help me a bit because like right now it's just ridiculous. So I'm gonna go through all this stuff and that is my plan for the rest of the afternoon. Happy Friday. So it is 10 something. It's almost 11 in the morning. I have finished editing today's video. It was a really long video to do. It was a recent reads video and I just feel like I go on and on in them but I'm really like but I'm also really enjoying doing them so it is what it is but it was 23 minutes long and yeah I wasn't expecting that at all because the last one I had six books total to talk about and in that one I think the video ended up being like 24 minutes long but in this one I had five books to talk about but it's still the same length. But today is going to be an editing day. I'm just about to go and shower because I also have a couple of Instagram posts that I need to do so I kind of need to make myself look presentable unfortunately but I definitely am going to be editing all day. That's essentially what is going to happen. I have been reading a little bit, not too much. I've been getting distracted by other things but I am about 30 pages into 99% mine and I'm kind of struggling so far and I think a big part of it is because in Josh and Hazel I loved all of the characters instantly but I'm not really feeling that connection with the main character yet and I know I'm only 30 pages into it so like I'm not going to be that connected but I think this might take me a little bit more time to get into but I'm hoping that I will eventually feel that connection with the characters that I think that I need to enjoy a romance book but I guess we'll see. I'm gonna try and read a little bit this morning before I dive into editing some more videos, but I can't believe it's only 11 because I feel like I've been super productive today, which is great. Also, I still need to make my bed, but ignore that. But I did my drawers. I didn't do this one because it still has my sweaters in it and I'm going to have to take out my spring clothes, but I did this one and I really like it because I can see all the t-shirts that I have. I have empty space once again because of spring clothes. This drawer is kind of a problem because I have so much like workout clothes and pants. It's pants. I don't know why. Because just regular pants, I don't have that many, but workout pants, I have so many. So I'm kind of going to have to go through that and see it. But I am happy with this organizational method. I'm just going to have to figure out what I'm going to do when I like switch out my clothes and everything and put away my long sleeve shirts and all that stuff. Because by the time I get back from California, it's going to be springtime weather. So I figure I'll do all of that at once this weekend because I need to pack. I cannot believe I'm leaving already, but I'm excited. We also got everything booked for New York this week, which was really exciting. So it's just, it's a big week of getting stuff done, but I'm going to make this a big day of getting stuff done too. Well, now I can't make my bed because this adorable nonsense is happening on it. And then we have these two over here. It's actually Luna's birthday today. And Lucy is saying happy birthday by sitting on top of her. Right, Luna? Literally, look at this. <laughs> she is sitting directly on top of her. But they're so happy. But I'm still editing away, so I'm working on my collab so this is only the second video that I've done but I'm doing the rough edits in order of when the videos are coming out because that just is logical so I'm almost done the rough edits on this one and then I will move on to the next one and then the fine tuning and finessing will come afterward but the rough edits is like the most lengthy part but for collabs it's usually not the case but I'm glad that I at least will have it like halfway done since they take so long to edit so I'm gonna work on finishing that and then after I wanted to show you exactly which books I had on my TBR 
tarot cart because I mentioned it in my last reading vlog but I never actually showed you what I ended up putting on there. So it's Friday night and I realized that I haven't updated you guys and the last thing that I said I was going to do was show you what's on my TBR card. So I'm going to do that and then update you guys with my reading. So in case you haven't seen anything about my TBR card, the organization for this is arcs on the top and then fantasy sci-fi and then on the bottom I have contemporary and just realistic fiction so some historical fiction in there too but basically the whole idea for this is that I have books that I want to prioritize on here so this is kind of where I turn to first for when I'm looking for something else to read. So starting off with my fantasy shelf I've got Carry On by Rainbow Rowell, Graceling by Kristen Kishore, Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson, Scythe by Neil Schusterman, Sherwood by Megan Spooner, The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell, Sky Without Stars by Jessica Brody and Joanne Rendell, and Enchanté by Gita Trillis. Next on my realistic fiction shelf, I have Dress Codes for Small Towns by Courtney Stevens, Bone Gap by Laura Ruby, The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang, Romancing the Throne by Romancing the Throne by Nadine Jolie Courtney, I Believe in a Thing Called Love by Maureen Gu, The War Outside by Monica Hesse, Only a Breath Apart by Katie McGarry, Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds, Field Notes on Love by Jennifer E. Smith, and The Game of Hope by Sandra Gullen. So I've been liking my cart a lot so far. It is something that I plan on kind of tweaking as it suits me, but so far, so good. On the other hand, I ended up DNFing 99% Mine by Sally Thorne. I didn't like the writing style at all, and the characters never connected with me. I got 50 pages in, and then I ended up skimming the rest just to see if maybe it was going to be worth it in the end, but it most definitely was not worth it in the end. I did not care for it in the least. I didn't like a lot of aspects of where the relationship ended up going. I felt like a lot of it was very unhealthy and I wasn't a fan of that so DNF'd this one unfortunately. But I'm not giving up on Sally Thorne completely. I do still plan on trying the hating game. I'm actually going to start it right now because I figure if I just don't mesh with her writing style maybe I should just get both of these books off of my TBR right away. But I've heard so many amazing things about this book and 99% mine. I've heard a lot of people feel the same way that I do about it. They loved the hating game but didn't like this one at all so that does make me a little bit more hopeful and makes me feel better. So I'm going to try and read a little bit before bed. I'm probably not going to get to too much because I am pretty tired but I'm going to try my hardest. This is the most disgusting thing I've ever woken up to in April. No! It's supposed to be spring! Good morning-ish. It's actually probably about noon now. I worked this morning and when I was at work I ended up reading something. I forgot actually. I was all ready to give you my reading update but I forgot that this morning entirely in my shift I ended up listening to Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This was obviously a reread or re-listen if you will for me but I decided to listen to the audiobook again since we have our live show for Bookmarked today so I wanted the story fresh in my mind. I gave it five out of five stars again obviously because I still loved it. Oh it was just so good. I've kind of discovered that the reason I like it so much is because I like like tortured and damaged characters as bad as that sounds and this definitely gives you a really good helping of that so I'm really excited to discuss it later this afternoon with everyone on our live show. But I also ended up finishing a physical read yesterday and that was The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. So the problem for me with adult romances is that I will finish them all in one day and that means that I'm eating through them so quickly and I'm super picky about them. I like like the cute fluffy ones and I feel like I'm having trouble finding ones that are like that. Like I definitely am not into smut. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. It's just not really my jam. I like the fluffiness and the cuteness and I think that's why this one for me I was a little bit on the fence about and I also don't really mesh that well with Sally Thorne's writing style. I definitely didn't like it in 99% mine but for this one I did like the characters enough to continue with it but I will say I keep on thinking about this story and the romance and how cute it was. It was definitely a little bit more intense than Josh and Hazel but it was also a very different story since it was hate to love and I felt like that took me a little bit to get into it but once I was into it I was hooked and I thought I was going to give it a three out of five stars for the majority of it just because the writing style was a little bit meh for me but then when it came to the end in the last like 100 or 50 pages and really some places in between too but particularly those last pages I was like squealing because it was so cute and I loved it so much. I liked the character development, the relationship development so I did end up really enjoying it and I gave it a 3.75 out of 5 stars overall because that little bit changed all of it for me. It made all the difference. But I am going to try and pick up another read now so I'm going to try 
and start the kiss quotient by Helen Huang. Usually I like to space out my reads. I don't like to read the same thing one after the other, but I'm getting back to my roots of just listening to my mood and reading whatever I'm in the mood for. And it seems that adult contemporary romance and really just contemporaries in general are what is doing well for me recently. That was a weird sentence, but you know what I mean. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to finish this before I leave for California because I have a lot to do, but hopefully I'll be able to make a little bit of a dent into it. I don't know. We'll see. So it is 8.30 on Sunday night. I'm just about to go to bed. We had our live show for the book club earlier. It was so fun. I had a blast discussing the book with you guys. It was funny because we never really addressed it, but all of us came on the live and we realized that each of us was wearing a white shirt and a jean jacket because it fit the book so well. We didn't plan it at all, but it was great. But it's time for me to wrap up the week so I can get some sleep before I work early tomorrow. So I DNF'd one book this week, but I finished reading three books total and I read all adult books. I did not read a single YA book. I did not pick up an audiobook at all other than today, but like the audiobook I was listening to before didn't pick up at all, but it was the week of adult romance. So as per usual, I'm just going to give you my readings right now. If you wanted some more thoughts, then you can watch my recent reads videos as they come out. I just had one come out, so I will have it linked down below for you guys. So the first book that I read this week was Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren, which I gave a 4.5 out of 5 stars. After that, I ended up DNFing 99% Mine by Sally Thorne. And then I ended up finishing The Hating Game by Sally Thorne, and I gave this a 3.75 out of 5 stars. And the final book that I read was a reread, and that was Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, which I still gave a 5 out of 5 stars. So that is all for this week's reading vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'm hoping I will be able to get next week's reading vlog out on time, even though I am going to be on vacation in California visiting my sister, but I'm still going to try my hardest to get my vlogs out as per usual. I will have videos going out as per usual on my regular days on Wednesday and Friday, but Mondays I am hoping I'll be able to get my vlogs done, but fingers crossed on that one. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!